Charisma Records was a British record label founded in 1969 by former journalist Tony Stratton Smith. He had previously acted as manager for rock bands such as The Nice, The Bonzo Dog Band and Van der Groff Generator. Gail Coulson was label manager and joint managing director. The label's most successful acts were Genesis, Peter Gabriel, Julian Lennon, and Monty Python. The first release was an LP by Rare Bird, in November 1969, and this group gave Charisma its first hit single, Sympathy, in early 1970. Charisma's first UK label was a distinctive magenta scroll design, though it is generally referred to in record-collecting circles as pink. Scroll, magenta was the color that Stratton Smith chose to represent the label, and this was reflected in his later horse racing colors, red for Manchester United, green for Brazil, and magenta for Charisma. Its second logo of Sir John Tenniel's drawing of the Mad Hatter made the label instantly recognizable. Much of the early distinctive artwork used by the label was created by Paul Whitehead. Whitehead's original illustrations for three Genesis albums were stolen from the Charisma archives when it was sold to Virgin Records in 1983. Whitehead claimed that Charisma staff got wind of the imminent sale and proceeded to loot its office. The label also released material by The Nice, Robert John Godfrey, Lindisfarne, and Alan Hull, Hawk Wind, The Alan Parsons Project, Clifford T. Ward. String Driven Thing, Jack the Lad, Audience, Vivian Stanshall, Brand X, Sir John Betjeman, Malcolm McLaren and Afraid of Mice. 1970 solo albums of Peter Hamill, Tony Banks and Steve Hackett were also on Charisma. Gail Coulson left Charisma in the late 1970s to form her own management company, Gale Force. In 1983, Charisma Records was acquired by Virgin Records and continued to operate until 1986, when Virgin absorbed the label. Virgin's purchase by Emmy, then known as Thorn Emmy, occurred in 1992. A new version of Charisma, with no connection to the original label other than the name, operated between 1990 and 1992, with a street-oriented and independently distributed subsidiary called Cardiac Records. Some Charisma Records recordings were reissued on the Emmy label. In the UK, the label was revived by Amy's Angel Records in 2007. With most of Amy's purchase by Universal Music Group, Charisma returned to Virgin Records. Charisma was initially manufactured and distributed in the United Kingdom via a licensing deal with Lee Gothel's B&C Records, sharing the B&C catalog series for both singles and albums. Prior to B&C ceasing to release records on the B&C label, when it concentrated on marketing instead. In early 1972, B&C brokered a deal with Precision Tapes to manufacture and distribute Charisma's albums in tape format. From early 1970, Charisma's European distribution was handled by Phonogram Incorporated. In the United States and Canada, Charisma recordings were initially licensed to other labels. These included ABC Records, along with subsidiaries, Impulse, Probe, and Dunhill. Artists included Van der Groff Generator and Genesis. Electra Records in the USA released records by Charisma artists Atomic Rooster, Audience, Lindisfarne and Jack the Lad. In 1971, Charisma entered into a distribution agreement with Buddha Records and began to release albums on the Charisma label in the USA. These included Pawn Hearts by Van der Groff Generator and Nursery Crime, Foxtrot and Genesis Live by Genesis. Atlantic Records also later released Charisma recordings in the United States from 1973 to 1974 including many Genesis titles. In 1973, Atlantic stopped distributing Charisma in America, as a result, in the USA Charisma's band signed to various labels such as Mercury Records and Arista Records. Genesis Records were released in the USA under Atlantic's subsidiary label Echo Records from 1974 to 1976. In 1976, Charisma signed a new distribution deal in the UK with Polydor that lasted until 1980. In Canada, many Charisma releases were distributed by GRT and Polygram Canada. Between 1980 and 1982, Charisma operated a subsidiary called Pre Records, who were devoted to new wave and reggae acts. Pre's roster included Scars, Prince Far the First, Delta Five, Gregory Isaacs, The Monochrome Set, and Congo Ashanti Roy, amongst others. Pre also licensed albums by The Residents and Tuxedo Moon from the American label Ralph Records. In Europe, Pre's releases were issued on the Charisma label. Most Charisma artists were relatively unknown early on so original pressings have become quite rare and sought after by collectors. The Pink Scroll label was first used in the UK from 1969 until mid-1972. 
This was replaced by the Mad Hatter label, designed by Paul Whitehead. In the US, the pink scroll labels were used in late 1973 and early 1974 on releases distributed by Buddha. Releases distributed by Atlantic Records used a variation of the Mad Hatter design. 1. On Virgin Records in Australia, Atlantic Records in the US 2, on Island Records in the US 3, on Geffen Records in the US 1, on Atlantic Records in Canada, New Zealand and the US 2, on Geffen Records in Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the US. Thanks for watching.